In this module, what we're going to review is how to create new pages, how to adjust page sizes, and what's the difference between Site Structure and Site Manager tool inside Serif Web Plus. So, first things first, let's take a look at our pages and how to manage the sizes of them. The way I'm going to start is I'm going to go into my Master Pages. Again, I'm going to go to View, Master Page Manager, and Master Page A. And when I view Master Page A, I'm going to go into Properties, and I'm seeing that the width is 800, and I want all of my pages to be 1,000 pixels wide. You can choose any size you wish, but I find that 1,000 pixels works best not only on a regular screen, but it also works best on an iPad as well as on an iPhone. So those are important components for me to take a look at and review. And then I just click OK, and I'm going to do the same thing to Master Page B. Go into Properties, I'm going to change it to 1,000 pixels wide. And I want all of my pages to reflect these changes. So how do I do that? Right now I'm looking at my master page A. You can see that indicated in the lower right side of where my pages are. Now I want to go into my site manager and make sure that all of my pages are 1,000 pixels wide. And they've automatically switched over for me because I changed the master page. Now, what's nice about this is I can change sizes of pages. So let's say, for example, that I want to do a landing page for a contest in Facebook. I know that those contest landing pages are a maximum of 520 pixels wide. So I can change a certain page to indicate that it's 521 pixels wide so that it'll fit inside of that contest landing page. If you want to learn more about how to create landing pages in Facebook, Tune in to gut-clicks.com and check out the class for Facebook and for Box. It will teach you how to create these pages inside Serif Web Plus. Right now I know that all of my pages are 1,000 pixels, so I'm happy with that. I can close out of this. Now let's say that I want to create another products page. I already have one from the template that we chose, and it's indicated right here on this page. And let's say that I want to move things around, but I don't want to do, you know, individual things because that'd be kind of a pain. Maybe I want to move this over to the left a little more. The way I can do that is I click and drag my mouse and hold my cursor down. And then I can click the puzzle pieces together and I'm able to move this anywhere I wish. So perhaps I wanted to have some affiliate program stuff over here, I could certainly do something like that. I'm going to keep it centered for the time being, and then I'm going to undo the puzzle pieces so that I can work on these individually as I go to edit the page. Now, I know that I've got more than three products here, and I have these navigation buttons down here so it could bring me to the next page if I wish. So the way I'm going to make this work is I'm going to create another page. Now I use Site Structure. Site Structure allows me to copy and paste pages inside of my website and position them any way I wish. So Products, I'm going to click Insert Page because it's already got my products highlighted because I'm just going to copy that page. And this page I'm going to call Software. And for Link Love and Search Engine Love, that clicks Software Authors is what I'm going to name the page title up here. And then for my file name, it's simply going to be called Software. Now, I can say I want it included in the navigation if I want to, or I could uncheck the box if I just wanted it to navigate from these navigation buttons and I don't necessarily want it to be a separate page. But in this instance, I probably would want it because maybe software is different from some of the other products that I sell. Next, I'm going to go on Appearance. Whoops, let me check that box. <laughs> so I do want it to show in my navigation. And I want it to be a child of products. So it's going to be underneath products. Next, I click on Appearance. To make my life a lot easier, I'm going to go in here and change this to 1,000 pixels. I'm going to copy objects from my products page. And then I'm going to just click OK. And then automatically, it include software here. You can see the page I'm working on is software in the lower right, and I'm just going to hit close. And that is how you can add pages into your site. 
If I didn't want this page to show, all I have to do is go under Site Structure, click Properties, and uncheck the Include a Navigation box. And you can see that it's grayed out. Anything that's grayed out doesn't show. If you publish these pages and they start to show, and you're like, ah, oh, I don't want that in there, that's the answer in order to get rid of it, is you highlight it, hit Properties, and either check or uncheck this box to include it in your navigation. That's how easy it is to add and delete pages, change page sizes inside of Serif Web Plus.